Welcome back to Dr. Stone Anime Review, episode number 30. We're here reviewing technically the 14th episode of the New World arc, which is also the 49th episode of the series. Okay, the name, the name of this episode is Deal Game Test of Wit. Covering chapters 122 and 123 of the manga. We pick up the long events of the last episode, ever, and of course we see everybody else get reassembled and basically petrified. Chrome, pretty much everybody who was petrified toward the end of the first quarter of this. Yeah, everyone gets unpetrified, and of course, I mean, is basically informing somebody what happened that Ko Kohaku and Genru uh, got, turned, got petrified. Well, also found the master is the statue, and and of course, basically, the archer realizes though that oh crap, she was followed by Maz, one of the bodyguards. So basically, the mentalist decided make, decided to make uh, negotiations with him, in exchange for their technology or at least their sorcery, he gets taken down the boss, and be equal terms, and also he can see the petrification ray. Yep. That's literally what happens here. It's like basically, of course, when we have him maybe become an ally of the Kingdom of Science, he gets the same in Kohaku. like, hmm, this area looks very familiar. And then he proceeds to disguise himself as a Night Raider and knocks all the guards out. Yep, knocks all the guards out to prove how awesome the Kingdom of Science is. Of course, there's lessons on manipulation this episode. Like,. And it's like Olympus set up basically, it's like setting up the next part of the story. It's mostly for what this episode is. But, hey, we got a new ally, Maz, who didn't rat them out, which was nice. Apparently, he knew all along that Kohaku was a spy. Yep. But, yeah, not really much else this guy is here. Basically, what I just described, that's literally the episode. Also, um, Tanjiro's girl, uh, the girl he the girl he's in love with. This had to make everybody close, and of course, this just comes after he, he reassembles everybody the way they're supposed to be. Yeah, and the, when she was doing this before, like, she apparently got really angry at uh, Sengoku because basically, you better pay me back because my fingers are nearly brittle because you asked me to do all that stuff. And she's really fast with stuff. And, like, no wonder why Tandra loves her. Yep. Yeah. He's also being very considerate of her because, well. Because of the fact that when he when she got petrified, she was completely naked, and he's like looking away, just holding her hand, just being a complete gentleman. Even she realizes that that because he's like not yet per se. It's like I think it's implied at this point. I think she probably knew that that well the hunter was in love with her. And of course, Tanjo, he, he he basically is in love with her. Of course, they're, they're in love with each other. It's implied she might know, but Sengu, he does not. He's not going to tell per se because that is something between them. So that's it for that one. But this was a really good episode. We're still continuing this, and if you're curious, like how many episodes left for Core Two? Well, this technically, in a way, is only the third episode. Of Core 2. Yes, only the third episode. So we got presumably about eight more to go. I think so, yes. And I'm thinking this might be finished up before Jujutsu Kaisen will be. It is possible, but we'll find out and see. Okay, so that's it for Tickle of You. Next up is the Comic Corner, and then it's on to Bleach. Okay, next view. Bye.